great pleasure to present to you the former president of the Dominican Republic. You guys may not know this, but I'm Dominican myself, so it's a, a moment of pride. Dr. Lonel Fernandez was elected to the presidency of the Dominican Republic on three separate occasions, the first being in 1996, second in 2004 for a non-consecutive term, and finally in 2008. President Fernandez ended his three non-consecutive terms as head of the state of government of the Dominican Republic in 2012. As founder and honorary president of the global think tank, Fundación Global Demo Democrática y Desarrollo, Dr. Fernandez continues to contribute to the development of the Dominican Republic and Latin America, while also making partnerships between his country and the region and other parts of the world, including the Middle East, Europe, Africa, and Asia. Here to present to us an initiative that will revolutionize the Americas and the U.S. gives me great pride to introduce Dr. Leonel Fernandez. Well, I thank you for such a warm and, and kind introduction. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My dear friend, Manny Medina, President and CEO of Medina's Investments and founder of Emerge Americas. Diane Sanchez, CEO of Technology Foundation of America. My dear friends, first of all, I would like to express my deepest thanks for the invitation to come and participate in this year's celebration of Emerge. And I would also like to take the opportunity to publicly express my highest admiration for what you, Manny, Diane, and the entire team have accomplished here at Emerge Americas 2014. On behalf of myself, and I'm sure I speak for everyone here, I'd like to recognize Manny and Diane for your great endeavor in putting together such a wonderful event. And I'd like also to give you our pledge of support for your inspiring movement that you've created here in Miami, which I'm sure will have lasting positive repercussions for the entire state of Florida and the entire region of the Americas. That's why, as I said here yesterday, let me express to you our commitment that we will come back next year with a Dominican pavilion at the Expo and a larger delegation than the one we have already brought here this year, comprised of 30 Dominican business leaders. So for next year, our pledge is to have a peaceful Dominican invasion at Emerge. We all know that we live in a very different world today. Several pivotal forces, especially the impact of globalization through increased trade and investment, are shaping our present and tomorrow's future. Trade between us, for example, the Dominican Republic and Florida reached more than $5.3 billion last year. I truly believe great opportunities lie ahead for even greater commercial, educational, and cultural ties due to our geographical proximity, the extensive use of both English and Spanish in both places, our common heritage, and our shared challenges and interests. But no doubt, the future is also being built every day, every minute, by the power of innovative people from around the world. In fact, we may say that the future is already here, as we also acknowledge the rapid changes in our lives brought about by technology. It is quite clear today that only those nations and communities that heavily invest in building the right business climate, put in place the right infrastructure, and develop their people's skills needed to compete in the 21st century will stand a chance at reaping the benefits that are being created by these very powerful forces. But also, I think only those nations and communities that learn to work together with other nations and communities, realizing that we live in an interdependent world, just like Miami is doing, will succeed and prosper in the new economy. So while it is true that because of globalization, trade, investment, and technology, 
the world is very different from what it was just a few years back, it is also true that we now have the chance and the power to shape our own future in unimaginable ways. Just as you have launched the eMERGE movement here, I would say we in the Dominican Republic are also moving in the same direction. Allow me to tell you just a little bit about the actual status and latest trends of development in my country, the Dominican Republic. For some time now, we have been playing to our key strengths, as we've been one of the most dynamic and fastest growing economies in the Western Hemisphere, having quadrupled our GDP in the last 12 years and reached the highest per capita in our history. We've managed to sustain a lengthy period of political and social stability while enhancing our democratic freedoms and the rule of law. And we've become more and more integrated and forged stronger economic ties with our neighbors in the Caribbean and Central American region. The Dominican Republic is only one of six countries in the world that have free trade agreements with both Europe and the United States. During my first term in office back in the late 1990s, just as the internet revolution began, we started to look at new and emerging industries that could help us diversify our economy, increase our GDP per capita, improve our productivity, reduce poverty, and promote inclusive, sustainable development. Inspired by the technological revolution that had been taking place around the world, back in 2000, at the end of my first term in office, we built the Santo Domingo Cyber Park, always with the thought that we would expand it to become the technological corridor of the Americas along the Las Americas Highway in Santo Domingo, very much like the technological corridor you have here in the state of Florida. That is still our vision. And fortunately, we have made significant progress in this regard. The Cyber Park Initiative has enabled the Dominican Republic to participate in the global high-tech field, creating an ecosystem of innovation and knowledge with an infrastructure that complies with the highest international standards in connectivity, world-class security, and extreme reliability. Currently, the Santo Domingo Cyber Park has over 1,500 employees, a working force for over 20 companies, including some from the state of Florida, over 2,000 students enrolled in the Technological Institute of the Americas, ITLA, in the areas of mechatronics, multimedia, automated controls and manufacturing, robotics, information technology, and software. We have a successful incubation and business acceleration center called Emprende in Spanish that helps local startups develop their ideas into actual businesses. In this year, 2014, we are about to launch a new innovation university, Uni3, at Cyberpark to offer master's and PhD programs to students in the areas of information systems, wireless telecommunications, basically aiming at developing new smart telephone applications, as well as high-tech industrial design in partnership with recognized international universities in Asia, Europe, and here in the United States. We all know, however, that the mere construction of new infrastructures and the offering of high-end technology would be useless by itself without a trained workforce capable of properly making the best use of them. Today, in the Dominican Republic, we have more than 130 contact centers and BPO companies, including some of the largest global players in the IT services, employing more than 30,000 young Dominicans, mostly bilingual and IT literates, who have become active consumers and uh, many have crossed the poverty line precisely because of the training and job opportunities the industry has generated. 
By the way, the IT BPO industry in the Dominican Republic now generates exports of more than $350 million a year, which if we put in the right perspective means that we are exporting in terms of technological services more than we are already doing in the tobacco or coffee industries in the Dominican Republic. But we cannot stop there. We're looking into the future to find our place in this new information society, which is rapidly changing and breaking away from our traditional ways of understanding, working, and entertaining ourselves. The Dominican Republic has already began taking steps in this direction, and this is already reflected in our national statistics. Today, there is more mobile phone lines for every inhabitant, with a total of 9.2 million lines for a population of approximately 10 million. The number of IP lines, which only five years ago was an unknown tool, has multiplied by almost 600%. Dominicans also have a great presence in social networks, with 3.2 million active Facebook users and over 1 million Twitter accounts. A great number of initiatives and programs have been developed, which translates to some great achievements, including the establishment of a national fiber optic loop covering the entire country and major investments in rural broadband connectivity, digital rooms, and community technologies and uh, technological centers all over the Dominican territory with free access to the internet, benefiting thousands of people, including those with physical disabilities. But like I said before, we're not stopping there. This is why I am extremely proud to announce to you today the birth of a new Funglode initiative, or perhaps we should call it a movement. It is called Dominicana Tech, an ambitious effort like that of eMERGE to help crystallize our sure vision of the future one in which the Dominican Republic fully embraces the power of the technological era, not just as passive consumers of gadgets and services, but as active players in the areas of biotechnology, health services, telecommunications, renewable energy, IT, and software. Along with ClusterSoft and the CyberPark ecosystem, Funglode has been working initially with the IT and software business community in the Dominican Republic, including both startups and established companies with the purpose of helping them to expand and become global entities. Our new initiative, Dominicana Tech, is basically about three things. First, it's a program to support smart, talented young people in the Dominican Republic, our techpreneurs, to go out of their comfort zones, challenge their current situation, and go out to conquer new market opportunities. Second, through Dominicana Tech, we seek to foster the encounter of the emerging of two thus far distinct worlds in our country. And finally, Dominicana Tech is about changing people's lives by promoting new policies and new projects especially in the areas of research and development, innovation, and entrepreneurship. Our focus is to propel the Dominican Republic as a true smart, intelligent nation by helping to attract and promote world-class educational and policy platforms, modern infrastructure, and adequate funding so that by the end of this decade, our goals of a better and a more prosperous country becomes a true reality. We realize we cannot do this by ourselves. That's why I welcome your efforts, Manny and Diane, of bringing us all together here in Miami. I ask you, too, to merge our emerging companies, our emerging communities, and above all, our emerging people, so that we achieve our common goals because working together truly works, because together we can conquer the world. In other words, 
with Dominicana Tech, our new initiative, as we have proven to be the case in other instances, we can see our shared dream of a stronger, more interconnected, and globalized Dominican Republic. I believe in this area, this new initiative of making the Dominican Republic a smart nation competing in international markets, we too can become champions. We can move forward, or, or as we say back home in the Dominican Republic, with Dominicana Tech, e pa'lante que vamos. Thank you very much.